Batchelor was one half of the celebrated animation team Hallis and Batchelor, responsible for over 40 years of groundbreaking animated films. Despite being one of animation's most important figures, today she is one of its unsung heroines. This film is a short introduction to her work. From the outset, Joy's creative ambitions were always tempered by reality and the need to earn a living. Just before World War II, when animation work was scarce, Joy drew illustrations for cookery books, magazines such as Harper's and Vogue, and even gossip pages in the tabloids. But her visual sensibility and fluidity of line is evident in all her work. The Hallison Bachelor Studio is usually thought never to have had a house style, but it is clear, if one compares the early films with her illustrations, that Joy's was the house style. Never more apparent than in these post-war public information films. As a commercial artist, her role was to translate a client's brief into an engaging story in order to persuade, sell or entertain. She loved to explain complicated ideas and even used quite experimental techniques to do so. She also excelled in managing the work of others, with the unfortunate result that she is uncredited on many of the later shorts. However, on Animal Farm, she is credited with script writing, direction, production and design. And on Rudigore, her style and sensibility is visible in every frame. That Joy always worked to a brief meant that her films often reflected the attitudes of the client and society as a whole, rather than her own. I've only one pair of hands, dear. This is never more apparent than in her portrayal of women. But even under these circumstances, she was able to include humorous and even subversive flourishes of her own. Perhaps this should be her legacy. Her example that even within a tight commercial brief and without proper credit, it is still possible to achieve great artistry. Her recognition is long overdue.